Jonathan comes in on the posted link for the committee, you know, the public link, we can, you, your host, and you can bring him in as a panelist. Yeah. Uh, we are now live and we are recording. And there does seem to be, I'm looking. Yeah, someone has just joined us. Oh, well, I've... Matt Holloway, so that's not Jonathan. That is not. Matt's my neighbor. Hi, Matt. <laughs> All right, so we should wait for Jonathan. Yeah. Um, so um, I will declare the beginning of the meeting. I'm Kathy Shane, I'm the chair of the elementary school building committee, but this is the first meeting of the subcommittee um, to draft the OPM request for services and be the lead committee that will be doing the selection process. I'm working with the full committee. Um, we're conducting this meeting virtually because of the governor's order and three, four committee members are here out of five. So I'm just gonna make sure everybody can hear us. Jonathan, Jonathan just came in, I'm promoting him to panelist. Okay. Okay, at this point, the full committee is here. Um, Jonathan has to unmute so we can hear him. So I'm just starting the meeting, Jonathan, and I'm just gonna go around making sure everyone's audio works and we're all here. Um, so Anthony, um, you can just say here, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Here, and I, can, <clears throat> and I can hear you. Dwayne? Present. Steve? Here. And Jonathan? Here. Okay, I think the first order of business on our agenda, since we have a pretty short agenda, is to elect officers for this subcommittee. I'm the chair of the full committee, but I had not intended to be the chair of the subcommittee. So um, I will, um, anyone who would like to chair should say, should offer their name if we get volunteers. <laughs> I'd be happy to chair if nobody else steps forward, but I'm happy to yield if, if um, I see Jonathan just went on mute, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I don't mind chairing it either, but I, I also don't have a passion to do it. Um, yeah. So Steve, if you want to chair, you know, the main um, task will be uh, keeping us moving constantly. Okay. You know, and Jonathan did the little prompt this last time and saying, shouldn't we be meeting? So um, the answer is yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we, so if we have a volunteer, are there any other volunteers? Jonathan, do you want to do it? I mean. I, I, I don't mind doing it. I can do it. Yeah. You know, folks want. I don't mind keeping us moving forward on this task. Yeah. Okay, so um, now do we do we have one volunteer? Jonathan's the volunteer. So how do, what do I do? Do we just, if there's one volunteer, we declare him chair or do we vote? Okay, I will take a vote on Jonathan as chair of the subcommittee. Uh, Anthony? Aye. Dwayne? Aye. Steve? Aye. Kathy is an aye, Jonathan? <laughs> Sure. Uh, yes, I. <laughs> okay, unanimous. And I will continue taking minutes for the subcommittee, just like I do for the committee. So, so I'm turning. Time. I'm turning. Anthony. I'm turning the chairness over to you now, Jonathan. And okay. um, as you know, we have a beginning draft of this, so I will let you just yes. lead lead into the next part of the meeting. <laughs> Yes, and I, now I'm wishing I had gone to my computer that had two screens so that I could see the, the agenda at the same time. I'm going to uh, bear with me a moment while I attempt to bring it back up here. Yeah, that came from you, right, Kathy? Not, or did it, Anthony it, send it, it directly? It did, so. and if you also, the um, Anthony email that he just sent us had, it's a pretty short agenda. It starts with the election, and it's a review of the beginning draft okay. and a discussion on how we're going to complete the missing parts. first time I try it. There we go. Um, so we've, we've decided on a chair. Uh, the 
next item on our agenda is to review and discuss the, the OPM RFS. And Anthony, do you want to, to give us a little bit of a preamble on that? Since sure. You're creating it. Uh, so uh, I'm assuming everybody at least kind of did a, a very quick look at uh, at what we are, what's in for us. It's a, a it it's a fairly uh, structured document that we're mostly filling in the areas that uh, MSBA has set out for us. Um, so I think the way to do this would be to kind of start at the top and go through it and uh, maybe not spend a great deal of time editing in subcommittee, but maybe highlight which sections um, one of us feels competent to fill in, which sections we need to send to Dr. Morris or Mr. Roy Clark or others. Um, and, and maybe just start at the top and, and go through it. I don't think, it's, it's 22 pages. Um, I, I don't think this is a terribly intimidating document. I, I think we can get the, have this ready for when, uh, for when MSBA gives us the nod to proceed with it, so. Uh, one moment, I need to, uh ask one of the, the young residents of my household to make their device quieter so that you're not hearing it in background. I'll be right back. Uh, my, my apologies, there's no school today. <laughs> no school today. There's no school today. Teacher's work day, I believe. Oh yeah, um, Anthony. Would it be helpful to for for folks to know which parts of this we can actually edit? I mean, and which parts are 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 kind of compulsory? Um, uh, yeah, essentially anything that is in this bold italicized font is where the MSBA wants us to edit. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, and and I have already. So the document I sent you has track changes on, so you can see the okay. exact edits I've made. And I have started with some of the most basic of fill-ins, like I have put in the knit town name. Um, but where you see an area like this, where it's in bold and italics, that's from MSBA, and that's where they want us to edit. Okay. Um, I took a stab at this background section. Um, you know, I, I put my, there's a section where it asks for who the primary contact is for bidders. I put my own name. In, yeah, I put my own name in here. Um, some of these dates we will not actually know until we formally get the nod from MSBA, yep. but we can, you know, we can put them in as guesses. Um, but yeah, essentially anywhere you see bold and italics, we can edit. And um, there may be other places where it would be prudent to fill in, but we'll be sending we'll be sending MSBA a track changes. Word version of this so that they can accept or reject uh, or question any uh, any edit we make to any part of the document. All right. There are some there honestly there's some parts of this document where I'd love to edit the spelling and grammar because I don't think it's great, but <laughs> it's it's not uh, it's not highlighted, so I won't be. I will be refraining. Yes. Mm. That's a shame. Some of these yeah. things really, you know, they 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 write them once and then they never come back to them and. You're yeah. left with all kinds of awkwardness for decades. Um, how do folks want to tackle this? I mean, one one way would be for people to, to volunteer to take on a section. Um, I have to admit, I I don't have a already in my head or in in note form items that I was was ready yet to kind of suggest. Uh, but but others may have had more opportunity to read this uh, than I have. Yes, so, um, I, I read through it pretty quickly. Um, and so, for example, on the background section, I thought it needed to be updated because it still reads like when we were sending in the SOI, you know, that we're planning on doing some of these things we have already done. Um, and what my question was how much we put in the background section. So, for example, we um, did do and I chatted with 
And then do we do hot links to some of this? So for example, we did do, as you know, the Fort River study um, that got a lot of information about the piece. We had a background study of the Wildwood site that has some jute rock. We did do a space study at the middle school on whether we can move the sixth grade up. So I thought if it's where, whether that goes in background, but it would say, you know, here's a link to this, here's a link to that um, as information on what's already been done up to this date. So I just wasn't sure whether it went in here or went into another section. Um, and I would volunteer to, since I want to know some of this, I would volunteer to work on some of this background, making sure with Mike and the school committee, it gets updated. So I would be prepared to, or Dwayne and I or some, but that's when I was, so my question was updating it to be what we've done. Um, and uh, some links was my question about what would go in there. <laughs> Anthony, how does that work with, oh, yeah, I can see you're writing a note. <laughs> um, are we allowed to put links in a document like this or does it have to go as basically an addendum, you know, or? Uh, right, that's, I didn't know. So, addendum is uh, not the right word, uh, and a, a appendix, there we go. So I don't know if MSBA has their own policy on this, but generally speaking, you wouldn't put a link because this document. Right might be put in a format that a link wouldn't survive, but you could spell out the, I spell out the URL in full. Okay. Um, so I don't know if MSBA has a feeling on that, but in general, you would have, you can absolutely include links. I don't, I don't really think like the Fort River study would make sense as a, as a actual addendum or appendix document, but it, but a link would make a lot of sense. Okay. So the other thing is this is a big contract for, yes. you know, for, I mean, this is going to be a very desirable project for, professional OPMs to work on and they're going to do their own, you know, background research, you know, mm -hmm. Google, whatever. I think making material as convenient for them as possible is great. I mean, it will help get better proposals, but I'm not sure that we need to, you know, because this is such a desirable contract, I'm not sure that we need to include everything. In fact, trying to include some of the things might actually confuse, you know, the matter. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and I probably misspoke. I did mean what you just said, Steve, you know, to try to collect this stuff in a place and you can say for this background, you know, this is yeah. where, where we have got it for them to read and review as they want to rather than a required reading. <laughs> so I've taken the liberty of assigning Kathy to section two. Um, to background, and I, I, I would imagine you could, you might work with uh, Dr. Morris on this, or or someone else. Yeah, I, I, I think I'll work with Kathy on this one with the background. That's great. great. That'd be great. And I, I would just copy and paste what you've done, Anthony, into a separate document and work on it as a Word document, so then we can put it back in. Okay. Right. So, yeah. so that all the change, so, so that all the changes are preserved in one document. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and you know, there's a reference to the failure of the project in 2016, but I don't know. I, I know that this will be worked on. So, so I know I, what that means, but I'm not sure. Does it say somewhere else what that failure was? It it doesn't. So I yeah. I cobbled this together from the statements of interest. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. So if if there wasn't more detail in the SOI, Got it's it. not here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and that's actually, actually the SOI didn't even have the year. I I threw that in. So. Yeah, no, and, and that's what I saw, Steve, a lot of this is written in the, you know, we're thinking about doing a bilingual program, but at this point, we've actually done one. And right. um, so I, the tense is not quite right and and I'll, either more information or less information about the last time around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anthony, Anthony, shall we scroll? Because I, I don't think I can control the scrolling. Yeah, uh, I could give you control if you wanted it. Um, I don't, well, it doesn't matter either way for right now. It's, okay. it's working. All right. Um, so the next section is project description, objectives and scope of services. Yep. Um, so this would be to provide specific information about the school, 
um, and list the objectives. Okay. Uh, I would suggest that maybe I would take this section and work with Dr. Morris and Rupert. I think that makes sense. You'll probably have easiest access to some of that data. Okay. Uh, and this includes the Vegas notion of a timeline. Yes, I had one question on this section, Anthony. Um, mm. And it was a question of where something goes. We got this letter back from MSBA that gives us the enrollment cert certifi certificate. Mm -hmm. I just was wondering where that goes. Um, you know, like we, we're, we're starting out with two frameworks. Um, and I didn't know whether that goes in this. It's a purely a question on, on yeah. When, yeah. When, when we say something about that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does identify here to include the current grade structure and enrollment and the MSBA agreed upon enrollment in this okay. section. Okay, so that's where this would go, including that projection of how many we're going to have in, in each of these uh, great cohorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, minimum requirements and evaluation criteria. Um, these are already fairly laid out. Um, there is uh, the instruction that we should designate a specific number of points to each of these criteria. Okay. And this would also be um, where we would, uh, where we, there's no specific instruction, but this is where we would add any additional criteria we would need, like, for example, zero familiarity net. with zero energy. Yeah, zero yeah. net energy. Um, I don't mind uh, taking a stab at, at, at that particular piece. Yeah. I, I can work with Jonathan on that. Okay, that'd be great. That's that's four. Okay, section four. Um, I'll wait for you quick. Is it possible? So, so evaluation means minimum if you don't meet it you can't, you don't go any, it's a fatal flaw, basically. Yeah. Um, if you do meet it, you go to the next round. Is it possible to move more things into minimum cri um, minimum requirements? Like, for example, I see evaluative criteria, knowledge of the Massachusetts State Building Code. So to me, that would be a minimum qualification, right? So if you don't have that knowledge, you, you can't go to the next round. Um, so, we could, we could ask that. Uh, I mean, generally, I, I think it's placed in evaluation criteria because you would be evaluating people based on how thorough or yeah. how good their knowledge of that is. So rather than be a checkbox, it would be something you would want to be able to weigh. This person has five points in there and this person only has three. Whereas if you move it to minimum, it becomes a, a do not pass go thing. And Anthony, I think we would, is part of editing the evaluation. We, you were saying we could essentially figure out the, the points we want to weight things for. So we can say things like, you know, less than three years is one point, but you know, more than ten years is six points. That that's within our purview, correct or incorrect? Yeah, that's that is quite unusual for a Massachusetts procurement. Normally, we're kind of discouraged from making a score sheet like that. But the MSBA, that's how the MSBA does it. Okay. So, uh, so can I ask one more question? So then regarding the minimum criteria, we cannot assign points or, or weights to those. So either you're in or you're out. And so then you go, so then you start at zero in the next category. Right. Got it. So then we need to go, yeah, and we need to make sure that the said project director who has met these minimum criteria, then that we're evaluating the depth of that, you know, the depth of that experience. Yeah, and their and, and their team and their yeah, yeah. and their financial capability and all, all that stuff. So, st if Steve and Jonathan take this, will you also? You know, we have a meeting set up for next Wednesday and the following Wednesday if we need it to get to as near to a full draft. Um, yeah. Will you come back? I'm hoping you'll come back with us with tentative points. Yes. Uh, yeah. That you want to sign, great. Yeah. And the only thing I saw missing, um, other than 
the word zero net energy, and there is an energy section. So leaving it to you what you do there is we talked about um, in the meeting, and I have no idea how to frame this um, as a, and is it, is it a, a way, a way the OPM communicates with the outside world, like their yes. website techniques, some, you know, some, you, you know, so I don't know how to phrase it, but it's, um, community it, engagement. Yeah. yeah. Their, their communication skills. And, and I agree that it'd be important to, to, to find a way to frame it in here. It'll be a, a tricky one to evaluate using right. this kind of point system. It's, it's, it's tough. Um, but that doesn't mean we don't try. <laughs> yeah, so it was, you know, I was thinking of, you know, the things they could show us is how have they organized past websites? Do they have any um, creative <laughs> way of uh, making something, um, you know, a community online survey? Or I, I don't know what they might say, but things that they've done that would be um, making the work of, their work accessible to the community. So yep. I don't care how it's framed, but phrased. Yep. And I agree, assigning points with it would be like they've either done something interesting or they, they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> right? yes, I, that's the challenge of it. But, <laughs> but in this community, it's gonna be key. I mean, communication, people are already you know, asking for, for more information. So um, the, the, the skill that these folks bring to the table will be uh, critical. So are we still in section four? Yeah, I, I think it sounds like we're we're good on that section. Okay. And, I, and, and when I looked at it, that was the only thing that came to mind, by the way, you know, with you, you, you know, in terms of other than wording of different pieces. So, right. um, yeah. Uh, section five is selection process and schedule. Um, some of this we'd have to fill in later. The, the, the yeah, I, schedule I, I, we don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if maybe we don't assign this section at this moment. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to put my own name on it just to like maybe give some tentative dates. But. And during the last meeting of our committee, um, you, Paul, uh, Mike gave us this MSBA schedule, you know, mm -hmm. if, if we wanted to be on their docket, we had to be ready by X date. And then, and Paul suggested, you know, working as hard as we could to aim for, I think their June date, you know, but, so I was gonna be working. So Anthony, I was just thinking working backwards, we'd have to be, we'd be telling the bidder that we're hoping to be here, whatever, um, yeah. Yes, I would. That that is where I would start. Is with that with that chart okay. that Mike okay. presented. And can I just can I review that we we do this draft. Yes. We have when we get it done, it says we have to go to legal counsel to make sure they've reviewed it. Then MSBA reviews the draft before we put out a request. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing at this next meeting that that we're trying to get this into. Uh, no, I believe, that I believe it's the, in my head. Yeah. I, no, I believe at the next meeting is when they actually give us the okay to proceed to this step. They, I don't think they're ready. I think, I think it actually says here what it. So, so then we're actually sending our draft to them. Yeah. And we so, might be yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, at the next meet at the next meeting uh, of the go. board of directors, MSVA will vote to issue an invitation to the owner to conduct the study. Okay. So, Anthony, just for for kind of clarity, so who is technically putting this out for responses? Is it us as the town, or is it the MSBA? I believe it's I believe it's us as the town. Okay. It's, it doesn't really matter, but it, in my head, I just kind of want to know who's <laughs> who owns yeah. it. it, it yeah, as like it like like the instructions here about to obtain the RFS, you contact me. Contact like, you. The okay. instructions here were to fill in my name. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, section six: requirements for content of response. Um. 
Uh, there's not there's not a ton of things to change here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw I, I'm gonna suggest that maybe we we throw Jonathan and Steve onto this section just in case yeah. there are implications for the criteria that they set up. Yeah, for the I time being, that's good. There's not a there's not a ton here to do. I love that typewritten. That's a little. Um, well, this is all very boilerplate. Yeah, nothing in seven or eight. Um, nothing here. Um, we'll, uh, we won't, no need to assign anyone here, but we will want to think about anything else we want to actually attach. Yep. Um, this would probably, this might also be a good place to just include uh, our document repository, maybe. Maybe here, maybe in background. Um, and then, yeah, we have statement of interest, standard contract. Uh, this is the selection form, which uh, is standard throughout the Commonwealth. Nothing to edit here. I know it well. Yes. Uh, and that, that is the end. Okay. This is really not too heavy a lift. No, not at all. And the only thing is the timeline. So do we want to target if we meet today is Friday and we everyone said they could do either next Wednesday or next Thursday when I put out tentative dates. But if we're so if Dwayne and I um, quickly convene and then we draft something or we get Mike's attention, are we trying to get like the draft of my ours is section background ready? <laughs> For us to look at by next week is the question. I would press for that if we can. Yeah. I mean, we won't get them all done, but um, I, I respond well to deadlines myself, and no, I do, I do that'll too. keep us on task. Okay, so that so then, do we want to say to give us one more day? Do we want to make it Thursday morning rather than Wednesday morning? I'm flexible either way on the date. Thursday the Thursday is better, but I could do either. Okay, why don't we say? That? I think Thursday is better because I'm just thinking that it's Friday and whatever else is on Mike's plate, um, it, we want to make sure we give him some breathing room. Yeah. Oh, not to mention Dwayne and Kathy, but <laughs> Mike, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm thinking the, week, the weekend's basically gone other than um, starting to just do minor edits. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, Anthony, you can just post that again, then, right? So we won't won't. Oh, worry. you can take care of the posting. Thank you, thank you, Anthony. That was that was my next question. <laughs> now that I have chairs, is or refreshing my memory on how postings happening. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that right after we leave here, just so it doesn't get lost. And and, and so that, that and that is at eight a.m. right Thursday. Yeah. yeah. And Jonathan, what's changed is because we have to get a Zoom assigned to us. Yes. Yeah. We're taking some of the responsibility off the chairs because we, <laughs> because we can't do that. <laughs> I, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm just looking back at our, our agenda for today. Uh, I think we've hit one, two, and really we've kind of hit three. Um, do we have any public uh, for comment today? Because I can't tell from my, my... our one attendee has has left us, so there is okay. no public. Okay. And presumably we don't have any unanticipated items. Yeah. I, I did those as boilerplate just yeah. in case, you know, that was always there. Yeah. All so right. I'll, I'll, all right. So uh, our agenda for the next meeting then will, will be fit similar to today's, except it will be review changes on each section from assigned people. Yep. And then I'll include everything else. So. Is, I, guess, um, is it, I guess we can Google or whatever, but it'd be helpful to, you know, look at what other RFPs for OPMs are looking like. And I, I can probably uh, just go to the central register or to the school building committee itself, I mean, to the MSBA itself, but that would be helpful to, to see. I don't know, Anthony, did you have any that you were using as models or you just took their, their template? Uh, yeah, I, I just took their template. Um, 
you know, you know every, everything you see here was pretty was already there from MSBA. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can, and I mean, I've looked at other I looked at other towns years ago when we were starting yeah. Fort River yeah. stuff. I haven't looked at anything recently. And I'll do, I can do that. I'll, I'll look and if there's something that seems reasonable, I can send yeah. everything. Yeah. One thing I remember, that. Steve, from when, and I, well, we could probably just follow up you and I on this, but when we were doing Fort River, somewhere in the eastern part of the state, there had been recently a zero net energy school. Um, yeah. And that would be the one that I'd be most curious about in how they frame um, that piece in their request. But I don't remember which town it was now. No, that's coming to me. And I'm sure that's Maybe the whole, but it's not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So then, then of course, we have to worry but about we we're only being one person with that experience. So, our well, one. and the, right. the other thing I was thinking, East Hampton was just in the newspaper of um, they're consolidating all three of their elementary to one, but that must yep. have been fairly recent. So I think at least seeing what kind of weights did other people put yep. mm. in their um, request. Um, and their, their OPM has been coming to our meetings, I've noticed. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah. But they're not here today. Okay, well, Steve, you and I can connect yeah. after after this via email or something. Uh, could I have a um, motion to adjourn? I may. I, I move that we adjourn. We have a second. A second. All in favor? Yay. Uh, yay. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Very good. Happy and so, Jonathan, Happy we'll just coordinate. Morning. I'll be back in touch with you, Dwayne. Yeah. Okay. Thank Take you, care, Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Thank you Jonathan.